I'm going to show you the process of going into the Pronto exam. Now, obviously, at some point, I'm going to have to stop because you cannot have any other programs running or, um, you know, any, any 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 kind of recording, of course, right? So I've got the um, 47P reinforced concrete exam here to take. Uh, when you purchase this, it's good for an entire year. It will expire after a year. So you've got to take the exam within that time. So here's how this is going to work. And believe me, I did this yesterday and oh my gosh, it took me probably, it took me over an hour to just get everything set up and kind of dialed in. Okay. Now here you're going to go to online proctoring, new booking and uh, find your time zone. For me, I'm going to be in Arizona time zone and I'm going to do they don't it's right away okay so obviously that's today the 15th which is today and the time they're giving me oh boy let's look oh my gosh okay so two out no oh yeah that's right now I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm ready to take it. Submit booking. Let's see how fast I can get. Now, you're going to have to download. Okay, so here, exam available in one minute. You go back to launch page. This is not always very clear. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can help you guys clear some things up. Um, I agree to their terms. They've got some things here that they explain. And then, um, okay. I'm not given take an exam yet. So, uh, the you're going to have to download this program called um, Log Me In. Okay, they it, it's part of see the support Log Me In Rescue. Um, this is what you're actually going to be connecting to the proctor with. See, I had I had connected my webcam and everything, and then I didn't realize that I had to do this too and log into or get this up and running. So I was sitting there waiting for a proctor, and then it turns out I just needed to to load that right. So that was a huge problem that I didn't realize what was going on. So now that I've got this here, see this? So now it is connecting and um, let's see. I ran into this problem too, where it kept saying disconnected and like it was trying to, the session has expired. So I may have to redownload it again. I'm actually not sure. This is how kind of confusing this is. Uh, let me click on details. Okay, no details. One second. Back to launch page. Let me click this again. Launch exam. Okay, here we go. I may have to re-download the login. Okay, check this out. This is what you're downloading, what I was telling you. Um, it's going to come in my finder window. Um, that's on another screen. You can't see it. Um, but it's it's this. Okay, so I don't my rescue. I guess it's a new, okay, so now it's a, a new one again. So I guess maybe you have to re-download that every time is what it looks like. Okay, I guess I see the chat box, I'll click that. Um, I have to agree to these guidelines, see that? Great, I'll agree. You gotta stay seated, you gotta be quiet. They don't want any talking in the room. You gotta stay within the camera because they're gonna be watching you the whole time and it can't be any you know public place. They don't want you whispering with anybody. So I'm gonna agree to that. And let's see, I'm allowing the microphone. Okay, in order to continue, please share your entire screen. So I'm actually, I'm, okay, this is where I was stuck because I can see myself here and I was just sitting there waiting, but what I had to do was open up this support, you know, login rescue to do it. And then I connected with the proctor. Then she took over the screen. You rate, like make sure everything was closed, make sure my settings were, were cut off too. Uh, for example, let me show you, let's see if I could pull it up here. Okay, on a Mac, okay, I had to go to keyboard and then shortcuts and I, you know, they're gonna make sure all this is unchecked so you cannot screenshot things, okay? Um, that's part of the process. So the proctor comes on and controls your computer and does all that. So I'm going to, um, what is this here? Let me disconnect my screen. I'm going to stop. Well, maybe I won't stop this. Let me see. Um, Dr. Lou. Dr. 
option with another screen. Let's, okay, no, that's not it. Screen two. This is it. Okay. Allow. Okay. I, and I, I have an external monitor plugged in right now. That's what I'm doing this on. It's a 32 inch. I'm going to have to disconnect it. This is one of the terrible things about this system because you want to use that big monitor for plan reading, but you can't. So I'm going to, okay, let's see. Um, I'll stop this now because I'm going to put my driver's license up, but this is like right as you're getting into the test session. Um, and I have to take off my hat. Of course, you can't wear a watch, even if it's, you know, a normal watch. Um, this is right up until you're getting in to take the test and connecting with a live proctor. So, uh, I'm going to disconnect this recording and, uh, hope this helps. Just got done taking the uh, reinforced concrete plans test again, uh, this time through Pronto. Uh, you can see my office setup now, of course, I mean, this is my normal setup. You cannot use an external display. They will uh, screen when they screencast you, when they're recording you, they will control your computer and they will check your displays and make sure everything's disconnected. So I didn't have this uh, connected like this. And in fact, I had to reorientate my laptop to the end of my desk towards the angle of the camera where you're sitting now because the window was creating too much of a glare. So you can't be really sitting in front of a window. Let's say you've got to, you got to have like a solid background and the lighting can't cast any kind of weird shadows or, or silhouette you in any way. Uh, you have to, you have to take your computer beforehand and, you know, show all four sides of the room. You've got to show under your desk. You've got to show, um, you know, nobody's in there or you've got to have a clear surface, clear off anything. Your phone's got to, you want to have your phone with you in the beginning because they want to see you um, record or, or, or have your camera on flipped so they can see you through the camera of your computer and they can see what your computer looks like itself. So I had to do that. Then they asked you to put your phone away on the other side of the room. And uh, obviously you don't want to have distractions. The, the minute I click to take the test. I got an email or a text from somebody that was coming by to drop something off. So I had to break away. I lost almost 15 minutes, but they will let you do that kind of thing. If you, you just, it's a scheduled restroom break, right? So it can be whatever I guess it is. Uh, but, um, uh, it is permitted. So I was, I literally spent almost 15 minutes talking to the person and figuring things out. And then I came back in and just finished taking the test. So, 